Good morning and welcome to Chef Carter's Cooking Corner. So today on Chef Carter's Cooking Corner, I'm going to be answering a question uh, one of my viewers asked me recently. Um, her name is Pepper. Oh, that was my stove getting warmed up. And what she asked me is how do you make sure your egg whites whip up right? And so what I told her is one thing you need to do is make sure that your bowls are really clean. So I had my bowls first soaking in water. It was hot water. And now I'm scrubbing them out. They were already clean. But basically I like to rewash them to make sure there is no oil. And you want to wash them in really hot water. So that's the first thing you must do. And also the type of bowl you have makes a difference as well. So what I mean by that is you want to avoid using plastic bowls because sometimes plastic bowls they do leach and oil. Now they're not as bad as they used to be um, because you know scientists now realize you know that it's not the safest thing to do is you know certain plastics are not safe to use in food production and so that's why you want to avoid using plastic bowls because some of them do leach in oil now the best bowl to use is actually copper but I don't have a copper bowl <laughs> Okay, I'm actually, okay, there we go. So make sure there's nothing on there. Um, so I probably should have did the big bowl last, but that's all right. So what I'm doing now, that's why. So I have room to put the other bowls in. So what I'm doing now is just rinsing them very well in hot water. like so and of course we want to dry them out now you may wonder why I have four bowls well that's another trick I'm going to show you in just a moment all right so I have my three bowls here I call this the three bowl method and basically I have one bowl for my egg yolks one for the whites and one to break each egg in so let me demonstrate that for you so I take my first egg and I crack it and they always say you want to crack it on a hard surface as opposed to the edge of your bowl and I just use my hands to do this and eggs that are a little bit older are easier to separate the fresh eggs as you can see this is a pretty fresh egg I bought these a couple weeks ago so I got my one egg done and the reason why you want to do three bowls like this, let's say you break an egg and the yolk breaks on you because they're, they're very tender, right? And it's easy to break. So if it breaks in here, not a problem. I still got the rest of my egg whites. But if you break it, like let's say you're doing ten eggs and the last one, the yolk breaks, you're not going to be able to use them. So that's my other tip is you have to have no yolks in the egg whites. And so this one's trying to slip on me. So we'll be very gentle. Okay, so there we go. We got two. All right, so we got two egg whites without any egg yolks. But you also have to make sure that your hands are washed very thoroughly because, you know, we have natural oils on our hands. Now I know some people say, you know, use the shell like this. Okay, but the thing is, um, because the shell is sharp, it could break your yolk. So it's just easier to do this. A lot of chefs do it. And it's one way to make sure that your eggs don't break. So I'm a bit I think I'm an egg expert. I know where eggs come from. Um and so you see these little white things in here? 
I don't take those out. What those are, those are what's called the chalaza. And the chalaza basically holds the egg in place inside the shell. And it doesn't hurt you. It's all protein. And to be honest, an egg is simply a cell. It's one cell. Did you know that? Yeah, it's something I learned over the years. All right, so the shalaza can go in there if you want. It doesn't matter if the shalaza goes here or there. But don't throw it away. It's perfectly good to eat. So I have my egg whites right here. And they're at room temperature now. And that's another tip is you want your egg whites at room temperature. And room temperature egg whites whip up better. And then I'm going to add a little bit of salt. And if your recipe doesn't call for salt, do not use salt. But you can use cream of tartar. So you can use salt or cream of tartar or a mixture of both. And that will help with the eggs whipping up. All right. And so I'm making the souffle today. So I'm going to add just a little bit of my sugar, just a small sprinkle to start with. And we're going to add our sugar in stages. So that's another tip if your recipe calls for sugar. So let me go ahead and whip this up. So now our egg yolks are at the foamy stage. Okay, now you're going to want to add a little bit more of the sugar. I'm going to add the rest of the sugar. All right. And I'm going to tell you, some of you may say, well, I don't have that whisk attachment. You can use this type of attachment, the regular egg beater attachments as well. It's just this one makes it go a little faster. That's the only difference. <laughs> I wanted to stop just to show you, well, it's not quite there, but people also want to do soft peaks. So it would make smaller peaks. It's almost like soft peaks. And you can kind of tell because it makes designs in the egg whites once it's getting there. So I believe we're at soft peak stage almost. Okay, so this is soft peak stage right here. See how it's forming really soft peaks? It's almost a stiff peak. So, 
Okay. So. Alright. So this is looking beautiful. Okay, now it's at the peak stage. See how it formed that peak? wanted to clean this out because once you whip this up you do not want to bang it because banging it will deflate it and we want to keep all that beautiful air we just put in 